Hey guys, I'm John from Hilltop Camper and RV, and I'm here to show you the 2023 White Hawk. It's a 29BH we're taking a look at today. This is fantastic for people who maybe have a lot of guests they might want to bring, or they've got family, maybe even a big family, and not only want to have the, the beds to house them, but also have a little bit of space while you're hanging out in the camper on those rainy days. We start right up front, and I'll start right with one of the biggest selling factors of a White Hawk. It is the one with the big windshield in front and that's a like a car type of windshield um, and what is so great about it first of all you see the g20 window to it so it's got a tint so it keeps that heat uh in it keeps the cold air out and vice versa and it uh the real big thing about it is people inside there and you can right inside will be the bedroom right inside there people say you can look up if there are no trees above you and see the stars at night so that's pretty cool it's got the one piece fiberglass uh, fiber, fiberglass cap and uh, of course that means you're leaking. That's an issue that Jayco has addressed. They will not uh, uh, give you anything that's gonna have a good chance of leaking. That, that one piece is gonna be a big help there. Up front you have the, uh, well I'll start with this diamond plating here. You have the diamond shield. So if you got those rocks and all these kind of things coming up at, at uh, the White Hawk, it's gonna be blocked by this. And underneath this too is an Asdell protection. So As Asdell, won't let any water through. Uh, you've got an integrated A-frame in a Jayco product. Uh, that means instead of the whole unit sitting on top of the A-frame, that A-frame is welded here and it's welded back here as well. So you're gonna have easier handling and it's gonna be a safer ride for you. 60 pounds of propane up front, electric tongue jack there to make it easy to get this on and off your vehicle. You got great pass-through storage right up front. And in this storage, you'll see You've got your uh, 30 amp hookup. You've got a spray hose that we'll get to as well. And in there you'll see also a griddle. This comes with a griddle. And I'll show you a little bit more about that as we uh, go along this unit. Let's come down this way and we'll get to that griddle in just a second, but I want to show you this is brand new this year. This is a Furion tankless water heater available in all White Hawks that come standard this year. So that's a pretty cool upgrade. We get back to the outside kitchen. Of course, you've got your uh, water hookup here. You've got this uh, refrigerator, and this is a special RV refrigerator. I don't know if you're familiar with these. These only hold beer. Um, also, you've got, I'm kidding, by the way. Uh, you got a drawer here, hot dog buns and plates, napkins, all those kind of things that you need. And then right here is your J-port. And what that J-port does is inside where you'll see the griddle, there's also a, um, a, a, a steel platform, and it hooks into here place for your griddle right here so it's right next to your kitchen and right underneath here is going to be an lp quick connect so you can hook up right to your lp tanks right from here so all your outside kitchen stuff right here super convenient you got the awning over top you've got uh marine grade spears so my understanding is those uh kind of started with the whole boat business and, and yacht business so uh, those things are used to water you're not going to have issues with water and your speakers and right down here people always ask what is this little notch right here place to hang your tv outside if you want to put a tv outside sitting by the fire watching a game maybe and a little spot for your cable output here there's also by the way a 110 volt hookup right here go around to the back jayco and we'll talk a little bit more about this on the inside too but this roof strongest roof in the industry holds up to 4500 pounds uh, it is a magnum truss roof and so uh, they are doing more to make sure you have that strongest roof. Listen, Jayco's got a two-year limited warranty. It is the best in the business. So they've got to make sure they're making a good quality product. They do not want you having to bring this thing back in and doing all that warranty work on it. They've got to build it right the first time. So the nail plates that they use on it, they're using them on both sides of the truss in the roof. And what that truss is, it means there's a good space here going throughout. It goes down to the sides. And in that middle is where you got your insulation. Speaking of insulation, this has got climate shield on it. Climate shield means you've got astrofoil, which keeps uh, everything inside on the, it's got two sided. So everything that needs to be on the inside from heat and cool is on the inside. Everything on the outside is on the outside. It's got double insulation and that comes with the uh, astrofoil comes on the top, comes on the floor and it comes on the, the side walls as well. You're going, what's this? We'll show you inside too. This is your little secret compartment need to store something like a bike, something like that. This is a great and easy way to do it. I was getting back to the, the roof, by the way. You've got the ladder there because Jayco says, yeah, you can walk on our roofs. Um, we want you to walk on the roof. We want you to do your regular maintenance up there um, as long as you can do it safely. 
Goodyear tires, you'll notice this spare tire, including all the tires on this unit, even the spare tire is a Goodyear tire. And so um, only going with the American made best product out there. Um, you also got a spot for um, a backup camera if you so choose. Love this on the other side. Outdoor shower is available right here as well. This will have hot and cold water. Your kids, your pets, maybe you, a little bit dirty before you want to go back into the camper. You can just wash off right outside. Got a little storage here too for the fisherman or woman in your life. Great spot to put some fishing poles. Not a fisher. Then got some more spots for bags, duffel bags, things like that. This slide out. Uh, one piece, fairly big slide. Uh, Jayco used to use plywood in the floors of the slide outs. And uh, that wasn't so great. These things need to be really, really strong, especially when they're this big. And so they have changed. They use a, a substance called PMAX now, which is for these slide outs. Super, super strong, able to hold lots of weight. Again, some of the details that Jayco puts into their product that you might not see. In fact, that's really where Jayco's value comes. A lot of these RVs across the industry are going to look really nice. Jayco's going to give you the stuff underneath that you can't see. That's going to build you a better value in your product. A couple other things before we go inside. These lights, super cool on the outside. Really, really nice uh, look. Makes the White Hawk look like the luxury line that it is. Also underneath, new for 2023, you've got these new stabilizers down here. They're called the Rock Solid Stabilizer System. And everybody at Jayco has been raving about these and saying they just do such a much better job at taking away some of that shake. Obviously we don't have them down here, so there's gonna be a little bit of shake, but, um, but you can take that away. On the other side too, I wanna to mention there's side solar too. So if you don't uh, uh, have solar on the top, which is an option, you could bring side solar, which sometimes is nice because if you have tree coverage, solar doesn't help you a whole lot on the top. You can kind of position solar uh, as you need it. Last thing, uh, really important to talk about these walls. These walls are vacuum bonded laminated. If you don't know what that is, that's exclusive to Jayco. A lot of companies will pinch roll their walls, just meaning just have a roller, like a rolling pin going over it, putting it all together. Jayco will use glue, they will use screws. They will then put it into a big machine that I've seen with my own two eyes, put it in there, press it all together at 144 tons for about 14 minutes and that helps this thing make sure it's not going to delaminate. One other thing, there's just too much about this, Jayco. They have these uh, super wide frames here. They use butyl tape. They use uh, other caulking as well. Some of the trouble spots in a lot of campers for leakage is in these corners. Jayco has just the best measures among any camper to make sure you're not going to have those leaks. Let's go inside. As I walk in on these Lippert solid steps, I cannot go without mentioning them. I'm not shaking this thing. Well, I am a little bit because I don't have the stabilizers down. But if you had the stabilizers down, you would get the idea. But this is uh, these steps are the first thing, honestly, I would get in my own camper because it's just weird and embarrassing when I'm shaking the whole thing and people are trying to sleep and all that kind of stuff. Speaking of trying to sleep, here it is. Your, your uh, double bunks, the Teddy Bear series. These are four inch thick, uh, dense foam on these. So uh very very comfortable not only for children but for adults as well and you say well adults they can actually sleep on these things yeah they actually can these are double bunks that means a couple of adults can sleep in it 600 pounds is what this is rated for down here that's what i said if you've got kids maybe you've got other couples coming with you something like that and then outside we saw the door in the back for your bikes let me go right here and just lift this up you can pin it back that can actually be a storage space for you if you need it as well and of course, there's a curtain here on each side. There's also, uh, tough to see in the back, but there's also uh, uh, outlets as well, as well as a place to charge your phone or what have you. Um, you see a nice, spacious area. Love these White Hawks. These are the luxury line for uh, Jayco. Uh, you've got the, uh, the one-piece countertop. You've got the beautiful uh, stainless steel sink. Even got a little dry rack. I wouldn't know a whole lot about how these work. I don't do a lot of this at home myself, i got to admit, my wife would certainly attest. Uh, but you got the wood cabinets. I've seen it myself, Amish cabinet factory right in the Jayco plan. Uh, so you get good Amish, wo real wood quality here as well. Um, you've got roller shades, you've got screens, you've got um, even a little pop top here. 
which is going to be one of the most used things in your whole camper is going to be where you've got more outlets and more USB ports as well. Plenty of places uh, in storage for your drawers, uh, under the sink. Uh, these uh, uh, drawers rated at 75 pounds. What I really like about them too, they're plywood all the way through. Not only are they on four sides here, plywood, but then the front face is put, uh, the real wood front face is put on there too. So it's actually considered a five-sided cabinet or a drawer as well. You've got plenty of sleeping space beyond the bunks. You've got this dinette here, this U-shaped dinette with a really nice table that you can not only have here, but it's completely mobile. You can take it outside if you need it as well. Got a couch here too. This couch can comfortably sleep two adults when you pull it out and make it a bed. And you've got the entertainment center here too, which is just a great position. Oftentimes in these campers, as you know, difficult to find a TV in the right spot for watching. Well, this is really in a great spot too. You've got your IRV technology stereo uh, right here as well. And you've got a fireplace. It's not only beautiful, great way to spend a cold evening, but it's also going to heat this place up a little bit too if you don't want to use um, your regular heat. As you come back over to the kitchen, you've got, where is the, where's the refrigerator? This doesn't have a refrigerator. Well, yes, it does. This has got a refrigerator here. This one's gas electric and the freezer right up top too. Good uh, space for putting anything you need up there. You got a microwave here. You've got three burners, um, propane burners here as well. And this little cover here too, to give you more counter space and new for two, 2023 behind the burners, you've got an actual uh, knife rack as well. Uh, talked a little bit about the Magnum Truss roof. You can see inside, you get lots of space. How tall am I? I'm six foot three. So if you have somebody in your life that's that tall or taller, you can see there is a lot of space uh, between top of head and, and the roof. And again, it's got that Magnum Truss, so it actually cur has a little curvature here in the center. You've got your AC ducts, because this thing is ducted. Um, you've got some speakers in the roof, and I always think every time I walk by this thing and we have the door open, I think we left the lights on because we really, in a good sunny day, get a lot of light coming through the, uh, the skylight up above the kitchen sink. And if you don't like that skylight, you can always uh, shut the shade on that as well. If we go into the bedroom, there's one of the highlights of the White Hawk I was talking about. Um, you, they say, on a, and this is White Hawk owner is telling me, if there's a clear night and you don't have trees over you, you can see the stars at night, which is pretty cool out that window. If you like the uh, blue lights, that's cool. But if you want just the regular white reading lights, you can get those two on those lights that you see. There's a spot for a TV on the opposite wall of the pillows. You've got uh, good storage space to the sides of the bed. You've got a CPAP outlet there as well and a spot to plug in your phone. Plus, if you need to look at yourself a lot, check yourself out in the mirror. We've got a closet for that too, along with some good storage in there as well, a little dresser drawer. The bathroom is another great feature of this White Hawk 29BH. I mean, you start with a porcelain toilet. The shower is really important. It's something you got to know about showers in, in RVs. They are a spot where leaks can happen. Um, when you're stepping on that shower all the time, that pee cup can come a little bit loose and start to create an opportunity for leaks in a lot of campers. Not this camper. You've got a good plywood base. When we bring people to our lot, and we, we want them to go in the shower. We want them to jump up and down in that shower to show you just how stable that shower is. And of course, you continue with the wood products with the storage underneath the sink. You continue with the medicine cabinet as well. That's got a mirror on it. And then, of course, like I mentioned, made of real wood. All right, a couple more things, just a couple of spots of storage. I know storage is so important in an RV. And honestly, I've missed telling you about half of it. But big storage space here, big storage space here. And even when you walk in, Right as you walk in, there might be a place you can put your shoes or really anything as well. So you can't miss those when you're looking at this RV. So that's the White Hawk 29BH. It's a 2023. I just had a customer buy a White Hawk 29BH not too long ago, and they sent me a picture that night about how excited they were to be in it. If you're looking for a place with a lot of, sp a lot of space to sleep, a lot of place to hang out, this is it. The White Hawk 29BH from Jayco. I'm John. Come see me at Hilltop Camper and RV.